Hey folks, it's Brian and it's time for Jeep video number 78 in my Jeep TJ build project that started with a salvage totaled out Jeep. Sometimes I think it still is totaled out. Anyway, hey, if you like today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you find out when I release new videos and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you want to see other videos in this series, uh, check out my Jeep build playlist uh, and let's do it to it. So. Today hasn't gone so well. I thought I was going to put the front drive shaft back in, but uh, the axle's not in the right spot. I'm not going to fuck with it today. I think I need to change the uh, control arms and make them adjustable. There's still some bend in the frame. It's not. This isn't right over here, and I'm working around that. I have uh, modified the engine mount. You can see that video. Um, and you can see my axle's not quite in the right spot. There's a, there's a definite slope to this spring. So anyway... Fuck it. It's never gonna be a perfect Jeep, and that's what I bought it for. It's gonna be a trail Jeep. It's gonna be a Jeep that I can take out, and if I put a dent in it, I'm just not gonna be pissed off about it. And if I paid 20 grand for a Jeep and I put a dent in it, I would be pissed off. Pissed the fuck off. So anyway, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put this, this quarter panel back in, and that's what we're doing. So let me get some gloves on, and let's do it to it. So, um, the grill's over here. It's not going in today. Uh, soon, soon, just not today. So, back over here, I have this one panel conveniently stored. And believe it or not, this is really not that big of a deal to take off or put back on. I, I thought it was. You know, when I first thought, oh God, I gotta take that off, I thought, what the hell? That's major surgery. No, it's not. Um, it actually is almost ma routine maintenance because it's so easy to take this off and put this back on as I sit here and struggle with it. Um, it, friends, it really is quite easy. So let me find the bolts that go with it. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you guys just watch dead air while I look for the bolts. I'll be back. Keeping your sanity on a big project like this is to get some little bags and label the bolts. Not with what the crazy, stupid ass engineers at Chrysler think the thing is called, but with what you call it. So, fender to tub bolts. Driver's side fender jam. I don't know what I meant by jam, but you know what? I got another one I didn't take apart, so it makes it really easy to find. Um, like everything that I put together, uh, especially these, it's going to get some thread lock on it because I just don't trust it to stay together without thread lock. It's looking a little wonky right now. It'll come together. Uh, right now it's just sitting here and it, it really needs some structural support. So the first thing I need to do is just get this in here. And this would be a great two-person project. make a little more room for ourselves. There we go. So now the others won't be such a big deal. And, and I, I can't tell you, you know, the cost of a Sharpie and the cost of a box of 100 bags, just not that much compared to having a bin full of bolts and going, hmm, wonder where this one goes. This is probably one of the best things about Jeep, just the simplicity of this front assembly. You know, most vehicles, you really can't easily take off the parts that I'm, I'm working with right now. But 
a Jeep, this stuff's just no big deal. Some of these go in easier than others. That's okay. That is to be expected. And this one's going to be a pain because you've got to reach way down in here to get to it. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to snug these. not going to go by itself so we'll get some longer stuff here uh, I got to move the camera a little bit had a really nice swivel maybe this is it yep this is it so we got this really nice universal swivel joint for my 3.8 sockets I've got one and a half inch too and we'll see if it does me some good here want a longer one for this so I'm gonna reach way down in there in just a minute. Uh, there are four more bolts that hold what the battery tray sits on on that side there's a little angled brace and uh, these bolts need to be secured.
So a uh, couple of these are a little hard for me to get to, so I'm going to snug up some of these others. tight because I need the wiggle in order to adjust everything. Got a little too snug, so I'm gonna have to loosen these. Give me a little more working room. All right, that's that last one. And the torque setting for these is about that tight. Which just simply means you're going to tighten it until you think it's tight enough.
to see if I can get to this one from the bottom. I think I can. I actually think it's probably, oh yeah, this is easier to get to from the bottom. I can actually reach up in here with the whole wrench. this doesn't go the way I'd like it to because there is a uh, aftermarket bumper right here but it's still easier to get to from the bottom Referred to this as tray under the brake booster, and that's pretty much what it is. So, I'm going to thread the holes first. There's a nice little bit of space down there, so if I was ever looking for a place to put something, that is a great candidate. And I'm sure this tray is structural. Um, as cheap as Chrysler is, they wouldn't have put it in if it didn't if, it, if the computer didn't tell them to. So they're relying on this for some sort of structural integrity. that were over here so the next part of this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge because I have no idea what was in this corner. I can kind of see where some of the stuff was but not really. So, this is back in place and it's pretty sturdy. Awesome. So, I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm not going to call that a day or a video. Uh, the next part of this project is to see if we can land some of this stuff back where it belongs. So, this should be up here somewhere. Don't know quite yet exactly where. This belongs in here somewhere. Again, I don't know exactly where. This belongs, and I'm pretty sure that it goes right here. Um, not really what I would consider a great location for it, but that's where it belongs. Let me find the bolts for it. Alright, 
so I called those cruise control boats, and that's a cruise control servo, which um, Chrysler calls speed control. I'm going to find out what this goes, what size this is. And it's a little tight over here in this corner, and that's okay. So, pretty sure that this goes right there, except that the latch needs to be open first. Alright, and then I think this, I don't know where this one goes yet. We'll figure it out. It's got vacuum ports on it, so it goes somewhere near a vacuum line. Um, windshield washer fluid, I thought, maybe this goes down in here, um, I thought this was over here somewhere. goes there. So we'll just put this hose on here for a second and see where this takes us. Let me find the bolts for it. Thank you. 
yes, they are the same 10 millimeters that everything else is. And sadly, this is something that just could have stayed on here. But at the time, I didn't know that, so I took everything off. It could have gone over to the frame shop like this, as a matter of fact. is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I don't want that there, but I do want it to come around here, like this. This is probably where the horn mounted, and I'm not gonna, I don't like that horn. So then this is the headlamp, and then I've got a whole host of sensors and bulbs. So this would have come down through here. goes to. So we'll just leave it loose. It'll reveal itself eventually. Uh, so we've got a sensor here, a headlight. I thought there were a couple sensors up in the front. We'll get to it. Um, still don't know where this goes. lived up here. Pretty sure that this was locked in somewhere else. So not gonna worry about it. I do want to see kind of where the horn was. Temporarily mount this. 
Uh, I have other plans for the horn. Um, I guess we'd go ahead and, well, I'm going to leave it loose because, like I said, I have other plans for that. Um, so, this is a vacuum test pump, and it looks like the mounting bracket on it broke. I have no idea where it's supposed to actually be, nor do I see what it's supposed to plug into. And this should have been like that, something I, I got a fix for this coming too. Here somewhere. So I'll have to ID this and figure out what it goes to. That's about it for the minute. Uh, I don't think I can go any further uh, today. Um, so it looks a lot more like a Jeep than it did 30 minutes ago. That's a good thing. Uh, I've got a couple hours, well I've got half a day worth of work probably. Uh, oh you know I can do this. Let me see what that is. I got this part off of Amazon, so uh, it's nothing magical. I plan to make changes to these, so I just wanted to replace it with something that would do the job. Um, customize the heck out of it after it's registered and licensed. So it looks like it's a 13 millimeter socket. recyclable. Actually, I'm going to keep the bolt. Never know when I'll need one of those, but the rest of it is trash. It's composite, so they're not going to want to see it. Sure the other one's not trash. No, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we're starting to come together. Uh, it's a lot closer than it has been in the time that I've owned it. the OEM horn up. I, I do plan to replace this, so that'll be another video. I actually already got the horn sitting over there, but 
again, I'm just, I want to get through the process of getting this back on the road officially, and then I can worry about what I want to do to customize it. And I have no idea what this mounted on. I, it, it's part of the emissions control system, so I'm kind of looking and going, okay, where are you at, buddy? I think this is broken and I think it used to mount like in here somewhere so I gotta figure that part out so I'll have to go figure out exactly what it is and where it was supposed to be uh, and then I've still got uh, so that's my mass airflow sensor um, there's enough cable on here to suggest that it was someplace else. Made in Canada, that's reassuring. Um, so I think maybe it goes in line with the uh, vapor canister. That's the most logical explanation for me. But if that's the case, I'm missing some other parts. But I, that's where I think it goes. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it may get engineered in place if, if that's the case. looks like it's the same size Fit vacuum shit's just a recipe for problems. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're to a point where you go. Okay, I gotta stop because I don't know what else to do. Um, I need to install air conditioning hoses but I wasn't going to mess with that today. I need to go get some fresh gas and bleed the last of the nasty gas out of here. Um, and I need to flush the AC system, but I wasn't going to do that until I was ready to actually like tighten everything up. So we're getting there, but not today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, getting real, real close to having it run again. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.